Small businesses in America do all kinds of interesting and cool things, from growing the food we eat out in the country, to building and shipping most of the things we use in our homes every day. Although each of these businesses may be unique, they can all be grouped together in three basic business types. The first type of business is a service business. Service businesses are any type of business that provides a service for a fee. For example, auto mechanics, doctors, hairstylists, gyms, and landscaping are all examples of service-based businesses. The second type of business is a merchandising business. Merchandising businesses are any business that buys products from other businesses and resells them. These would include grocery stores, gas stations, and most retail stores. The third type of business is a manufacturing business. Manufacturing businesses produce their own products, which they then sell. Popular manufacturers might include automobile companies, clothing or shoe brands, electronic companies, and many more. While these three distinctions may seem clear, in the real world, they often aren't. As more businesses are trying to reach wider markets and move for a more global economy, they are beginning to branch into more than one of these categories. Look at Amazon, for example. Where would a company like Amazon fit in these three categories? Well, Amazon is a famous online retailer. They sell many products from other businesses, so they must be a merchandising company. But they also make their own products like Kindle readers and the Echo devices. So that would mean they're a manufacturer too. And what about those Amazon Prime subscriptions? They also provide the service of video and music streaming as well as online book reading all at a subscription price. That would make them a service company too. So in just one example, all three types of businesses are represented. And that is not uncommon in today's business world. Each of these three business types have slightly different ways of recording and tracking their accounting records. So as an accountant, it's important to be familiar with all three and to know how to identify which ones you're working with. For purposes of this course, we will try and keep the distinction between the business types clear and only work with one type at a time. In fact, to begin with, we will focus just on service companies. Just know that in the real world, the lines aren't always that clear. To learn more about these three business types and their effects on accounting, as well as other accounting topics, check out more of my videos on YouTube or visit ToriNorman.com.